Hello everyone, welcome back to another video yet of my design series. Today, uh, I'm going to tell you about some updates that happened. Um, it's all actually in good fun. Um, it's been a while since I made a video about this um, world design series that I've... Like the last time I'd done it, it was like a couple of months ago, I believe. I actually completely got stuck, to be honest. But I have been working on it in the meantime. I've been streaming a bit on Twitch on Thursday evenings um, in Europe, like, I don't know, Central European time. I don't actually really know how the uh, time is called. But yeah, so I've been slacking a bit and there were a lot of other things to do for me. Anyway, so this is Oizo. He needed a bit more of uh, a change. His silhouette was a bit hard to read with all the other spikes on the last design as i can show you here on screen right now it's actually really um i didn't like it because it, it just didn't felt right like there were too many things just like put together and nothing really was thought out so that's why i really wanted to redesign him he also had a lot of potential with his old design um, his old design was actually just like just as all the other designs that I just made it up in a day like I actually woke up from a nap and that's what popped up in my head so that's why okay uh, that's why I'm redesigning all those little fellas and gals and I really wanted his gauntlets to be like like the main focus of his design in a way like complete like of course his head is still um, the most important thing but he just needs those uh, ginormous um, gauntlets to like smash them. It kind of looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. So uh, let's just say I'll be the first to say that um, it looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. I'm glad it's not pure gold though, because I believe it came up in my mind. I was like, oh, should I make it pure gold? And I was like, glad I didn't do that because everyone would have just called him short Thanos. And he kind of, no, okay. <laughs> uh so yeah um really like his design uh right now it's kind of still needs a lot of changes but that's with most designs right that's just uh the way it is i still need to figure out a lot about the world before i am completely satisfied with what i'm making so i will be making a video on that shortly too with uh what I've been thinking about the world, what I've been doing around with that, like what has been going a lot in my mind, because I have been thinking about it and I have been writing about it a bit. I also made some more sample pages that I will show you in the next video. That's a bit more of like an all around where am I with the project kind of thing. But yeah, let's enjoy the part of the speed paint that's still going on right now. I actually really like the line work I did on this. It looks really good. Um, I don't really like his stance and his expression. <laughs> he is more of a smug kind of guy. So I will definitely get into that a bit later. I will definitely draw him again. Um, this was actually just to get his design right. And I really think his design did come together quite well here. So we're moving on to the next thing. Okay, this here is Q. And Kiyu is kind of like the support guy uh, from the group. He is tall and he is really... He's quite silent. He wouldn't just talk um, if he see... Okay, he wouldn't just talk out of the blue. He would wait and wait for the right moment to say something. He would also... I think he would be the wisest one of the group as well. Like, he has a lot of good information to share. Like, kind of the older, wise brother of everyone. And that's kind of what I have in my head for him. Um, this design, what I had here, was just another idea for him. And I gave him a bit more of, like, an interesting silhouette with the cloak in the background. And uh, so I made this kind of uh, circular cloak. Uh, or oval like cloak that just really plays a bit more with the design it makes him a bit more uh, recognizable especially that um, 
Why do I forget their names? Especially because, um, why is it like, especially because, wait, I got his name wrong. This is Sean. Guys, I'm just, <laughs> I should have just re-recorded this audio because this is awful, but I'm just going to keep continuing. Kiyu is the other one with the cloak. See, I already messed it up. So that's why he needs to be more recognizable in his own way. Um, so yeah, this is Shun. Or I will probably change his name. I still don't know a good name for him. Um, if anyone has any name suggestions, just put it in the comments. Because I I don't know. I think Shun is kind of underwhelming. And no hate to anyone called Shun. You're beautiful. It's just... <laughs> It just doesn't fit his um, aesthetic that much. Um, I've got a lot of shapes and silhouettes going on here. I've actually been really... I believe this was done under... Uh, maybe I was streaming or something. Okay, anyway, um, there is still a lot of things I want to change. But this is kind of where I'm at right now. So, uh, as you can see, I don't really have the best designs figured out for them. But I have been busy and I changed the colors to a nice little lime orange instead of bright blue. Um, although I'm still not sure if I want to do that because um, the bad guy is going to have a color that looks like this one as well. Um, I could also change up her colors, but maybe it's fun if they both have the same color i don't know i really do want them to like be kind of opposites of each other so maybe i'll give her an orange but i don't know i like the really azure color for evilness as well as what happens here um yeah that's that's kind of all of it guys kind of chaotic i'm sorry just a little update video on where i'm at for anyone who is interested of course uh, thank you so much for watching and for listening to me blabber about this. Um, I'll be making a new video very soon. So keep on hanging in there.